everybody, I'm Star Wars, and today I'm going to be showing you guys where the legendary TIE trio it can be found in future updates for Pokemon Brick Bronze, or where they will most likely be kind of found anyway. Uh, a lot of people have done videos on this, but either way, I said that I was going to do one when I first saw the update and when I first saw these things, and I'm sticking to that. So yeah, if you've already saw this and know exactly where these Pokemon are going to be, I am very sorry, but yes, let us get into today's video anyway. Don't forget to leave a like, guys, and uh, here we are right now. So the Tai Trio is actually uh, a group of Pokemon that were introduced in Pokemon Black and White, and uh, I do apologize about the names here, but I believe uh, one was Red. Sharam, one was Kyurem, and uh, the other one was Zircon, and uh, yeah, they were very awesome Pokemon, they were dragon type Pokemon actually, dragon type legends, and they were very cool guys, I have to admit, uh, very awesome indeed, I never caught any of them unfortunately, I don't know why, maybe I just stopped playing Pokemon at that point, like I didn't want to do them. I'm not too sure, but either way, anyway, so here we are today, guys, in the game, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly over to, uh, we're gonna fly over to Laguna Lake, and uh, this is pretty much where we're gonna find at least two of these Pokemon, I think. Personally, I think there's gonna be some sort of weird dimension thing or something, I don't really know, we'll figure it out. Uh, okay, so once in Laguna Lake, we're gonna go back to the, um, we're gonna go back to the Bidoof Dam area, uh, which I believe is Route 6, but I could be wrong, I'm not too sure about that, I think I am, let me see, wait there a second, is it Route 6? It's Route 7! Ah, oh, God. Okay, so right here, we can actually surf, guys. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna to bag. We're gonna surf. We're, uh, wait, we're gonna put on a Max Repel first. Put on this Max Repel. Uh, counts for Route Pokemon. There you go. And uh, we're gonna get on here. We're gonna do a little surfy surf. And we're gonna continue down this way. And uh, as most of you guys know, there's actually a there's actually a cave right here. We're gonna go inside the cave. This is the cave that we need to go to. So there you go. Oh, my person jumped. Did you see that, guys? I actually jumped. Uh, okay, so this is called the Path of Truth. And here's uh, Joshua. Hey, Reed. How you doing, sir? Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on through this cave right here, guys. And uh, you will need a Pokemon which has. Um, rock climb. We need a Pokemon that knows rock climb, guys. So make sure that you have that too. And uh, right here on the left hand side, you will see the rock climbing area. Let's just put another one of those on. And uh, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go up. So let me see. You use my Pokemon. Flourish, would you like to use it? Yes, sir. There you go. Levitate. Oh, we jumped up. We jumped up. We jumped up high. We were flying. Okay. And as we get to this place, you will see there is some sort of little castle thing inside of here. Actually, you know what? I never noticed that this was a castle. What I'm going to try and do is actually glitch on top of there. I'm going to try and glitch on top of there. But anyway, sticking with the video right here, you'll notice that like there's lots of dead bones and everything. I don't know whether they're from Pokemon or anything. That's quite creepy, to be honest. But uh, as we get closer, we've kind of got this like illuminating sea or like water, I guess. And uh, right here is a lot of gold. Now, as some of you guys may actually already know from myth, Dragons love gold, like they are crazy about gold, that's their like main thing, they love just laying in gold and being around gold, and if we just check this out, you'll actually see black and white, and this is going to act as some sort of, I don't know, I think it's going to be a door, like some sort of teleporter, well, like, some sort of, like, dimension thing will open up, and, uh, this is where we'll actually be able to find, uh, Kyurem, no, not Kyurem, uh, Zekrom and, uh, Reshiram, uh, Reshiram being the white Pokemon, Zekrom being the, uh, black Pokemon. Now, really quickly, I'm just gonna go and check, but Reshiram is the fire dragon, and it is absolutely amazing, uh, honestly, I thought it was the electric one, but it turns out that, uh, Zekrom is the dragon electric type Pokemon, which is really really, really cool. And uh, there are these two Pokemon. They're going to be the two Pokemon that will be linked to here. And personally, what I think is going to happen is that these two Pokemon will somehow maybe like, 
I don't know, like, go into the wild, and I, th I feel like they're gonna be wild Pokemon, uh, and then, after you've caught both of them, we are gonna go to the next place, where we will most likely find uh, the next Pokemon, which is the uh, third Pokemon in the Thai Trio, or Ta, Ta Trio, Ta Trio, I don't know, uh, okay, so this is the main uh, kind of area anyway, guys, we will be there at one point, uh, so what we're gonna do is go to menu, options, we're gonna click get unstuck, like so, and there you go, we're gonna go this way. Okay, so uh, we're outside now, and what we're gonna do is go to menu, Pokemon, fly, and we're gonna fly to Frostvale City. It's pretty cool that they actually updated the map. That looks really nice. 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 I like it. I like it. Okay, so once we're in Frostvale City, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna keep going. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 swimming. And uh, we will be on Route 16, I believe, or 17. I don't really remember which one. I c I'm confused, because Nathan's asleep right there. So I, I have to be quick, yet precise, guys. Um, okay, so we're on Route 16 right now, guys. And if we just get on a hoverboard and go down this route like so... Wait, no! No! There you go, you ruined my time. Jesus! Doing backflips on the hoverboards and twirlsy twirls. Uh, okay, and then this way, and then this way. Okay, so we're gonna go to this right intersection kind of thing right here, guys. And if we just go inside here... Wait, what? Use another? Yes, I would like to. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, scale like a Pokemon. Can I, should we do it? Yes, there you go. And let's do a little... Oh, wait, what? No! Why are you doing this to me, game? Jesus Christ, I'm trying to do a video, man! Okay. So we just do that, we get inside this cave right here, and um, this cave is called the Freezing Fissure. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's very icy indeed. It's, it's looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty cool, I'll say that. I like the music in this area too. Um, but as you can see, yeah, there's like just nothing here to be honest. There's like one little pathway down here with like a big huge hole. It's just a big huge hole. So yeah. What is this? Okay, so I kind of had a little bit of a brain fart there, don't worry about it, but... Okay, we're back on right now, because I, I actually encountered the Pokemon, and it kind of just threw me off completely. So I'm going to use another one. So, as you can tell, this place is called the Freezing Fissure, right? And uh, one really cool thing about Kyurem is that he is an Ice Dragon, and uh, I think this is the place that we're going to find it. But, then again, I don't know if it's 100%, you know, because like, like I said, the music kind of sounds like a Team Rockety type of music when you're about to encounter them. It goes like, -na 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 -na. that's actually Mario. But still, anyway, Team Rocket, that's what I'm trying to no, know. Team Eclipse, that's what we're trying to say here. Team Eclipse, guys. Jesus. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking that Kyurem will most likely be, like, kind of encountered here. Like, maybe we have to, like, stand here or something like that with the black and white Pokemon in our Poke uh, in our inventory or, you know, Pokeballs. And then something big will happen. And next minute, it'll drop down and be like, nah, nah, and it'll, like, try and kill you and stuff. And you'll just be like, no, Charizard, go. Pikachu, I choose you. Um, yeah, so I think this is going to happen. I think this is going to be a pretty cool thing too. I don't know. I can't wait until, to find out. Um, but another cool thing about Kyurem, in case any of you guys have never played Pokemon before, is that when you have the black and white Pokemon, you can actually do this DNA fuse thing that turns Kyurem into white Kyurem and black Kyurem. And... It's kind of crazy. It's so weird. I'm actually going to have pictures on screen as I said that. So yeah, you've probably already seen. They look crazy good. Uh, so yeah, very cool indeed. And uh, I just can't wait for those guys to be added. I really can't. Like, I, I, I never actually caught them in the in the Pokemon Black and White game, which was very sad. Um, I wish I did, but I just kind of never. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. At least I can catch them in Pokemon Brick Bronze, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, but anyway guys, that is pretty much been it for this video. Just showing you guys where these legends are going to spawn. Most likely, I think it's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much obvious where black and white are going to spawn. This one is still up for kind of debate, I guess. You never know, Lugia might come out of nowhere. nowhere. You know, like Lugia just like popping up and just being like, hello, I'm Lugia. And then, like, yeah, flying away or something. I, I don't really know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see you.